In this video, I'm going to explain how we are using the Dave Ramsey's seven baby steps to achieve financial freedom for us and for our family. I hope you enjoy it and if this is the kind of content that you like, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to our channel. About two years ago, we were in a financial situation where we felt like our finances were in a mess and we were drowning in debt, like drowning. If you feel me, you feel me. Then a friend of mine introduced me to the Dave Ramsey baby steps, the seven Dave Ramsey baby steps, and we have been following the baby steps and so far, so good. Now, if you don't know who Dave Ramsey is, he is a financial guru from America who has come up with these amazing seven baby steps that lead one to financial freedom. Now, in this video, I'm just going to give a brief look at the Dave Ramsey baby steps. But if you'd like to learn more, he has written a best-selling book called The Total Money Makeover, which has been completely life-changing. And if you're interested, you can watch till the end of the video and I'll tell you where to get your free audio version of this book. Before you get to baby step number one, there's actually baby step number zero, which is commitment. You have to be committed to getting out of debt and being financially free. Once my husband and I made the decision that this is not the kind of life we wanted for ourselves, it became so much easier to follow through with the baby steps. So now baby step number one is saving $1,000 in a starter emergency fund. Now let me explain this. Most of us, I don't know if you are like us before, but most of us, do not have an emergency fund. We just live paycheck to paycheck and if an emergency comes, we have to wait until our next paycheck or we have to borrow. So the first thing Dave Ramsey says is you have, you have to have $1,000 in an emergency fund that you can easily access in case of an emergency. Now for us here in Kenya, that might be a bit different. Maybe you might feel like $1,000 is too much, which then the advice would be to take your month expenses, like your monthly expenses for your household, and then you multiply them by like three, and then that would be your starter emergency fund. Now, Dave Ramsey's baby step number two is to pay off all debt apart from the mortgage using the debt snowball system. Now, so many of us have so much debt and we don't know how to go about paying it off. You know, we take debts for, let's say you want to buy a car, you take a loan. You want to, you know, buy, buy what? Not a house because a house is mortgage. But let's say you want to buy land, you take a, you take a loan. Or, you know, we take so many, especially if you're employed, there's so many, the banks are always peddling loans. But we don't know that so much, we spend so much money paying off the loans but we don't know that when you're paying these loans, you're using so much money and the loans are generally very expensive. You know how much the interest rate is here in Kenya. And on top of that, Dave Ramsey likes quoting Proverbs chapter 22, verse 7. The rich rule over the poor and the borrower is slave to the lender. And we know also in another place, the Bible says, oh, no one, nothing apart from love. So basically what Dave Ramsey says is that when you have so much debt, you can't even have peace and debt is very, very expensive. Now I know some people who say, oh, you know, you need to leverage debt to run your business and all that. But according to Dave Ramsey, you should do everything in a cash based system. He says you shouldn't even have a credit card. You shouldn't just owe money. So baby step number two is paying off debt, which is using the debt snowball system. Now the debt snowball works like this. Let's say you have like five different debts that you owe. Maybe one is you owe a mobile app loan. I mean, you owe an, you owe a mobile app money and you have a, a, a loan from your mom maybe. And then you also took a loan in the bank. And each of these loans is bigger and bigger and bigger. There are different sizes depending on how much money you owe. So what he says is, first of all, you list down your debts from the largest, from the smallest to the largest. And then you will pay off the minimum amount you need for every loan 
every month so let's say the one for the mobile app you need to pay like 700 shillings and then the one to your mom maybe you're paying her 10,000 shillings each month and then the loan in the bank loan you're paying maybe 30,000 shillings okay so you will pay the minimum and then whatever extra money you have will go towards finishing off the smallest loan first and that means either you have to get a side hustle you sell anything and everything in your house until your children think they are next those are the Ramsey's words, not mine. And then also you live below your means completely, like no going out, no eating out. He says you eat, you live on rice and beans on one day and the next day you eat beans and rice the next day and all that. Okay, I like rice and beans. But basically what he's saying is reduce your expenses to the barest minimum. Buy, don't buy any new clothes, don't buy any new gadgets, don't buy anything that you don't absolutely need and use every spare coin towards paying off your debt now this is usually the hardest step for most people we've been at baby step two unfortunately for two years now we'd have cleared it last year but then covid happened and then stuff happened and everything but it's usually the longest step where people take the most time and it's usually the most emotionally intense and it's usually you know, you have to be drastic you have to take some drastic moves and it's because of wanting to get out of debt that we discovered how to make our own liquid detergent please check out that video we discovered how to make our own yogurt how to make our own fabric softener we decided to have only one house help so that i became the second house help and i don't mind i love working at home and we just took some drastic measures to reduce our expenses so that we can get out of debt so that is baby step number two it is very very crucial and also what helps you not get into more debt remember is having an emergency starter fund so that if anything happens don't borrow more just decide that you're not going to take any more debt and then pay off the debt that you currently have baby step number three is having a fully funded emergency fund now remember in baby step number one you saved one thousand dollars but now in baby step number three what you do is you save you increase that one thousand dollars to reflect three to six months of your monthly expenses and then that's the amount of money that you save so let's say for instance in your family you spend let's say fifty thousand shillings per month to pay for rent to pay for school fees to pay for electricity and food and you know just the necessities not the luxury items so you'll sit down again do a budget see how much you use how much you need to actually live on as a family and then if it is if if it is let's say 50,000 shillings then the Ramsey advises you save three to six months of these expenses in an account where you can reach it in case of anything so basically you're building on the emergency starter fund so now this one is to really financially emergency proof your finances so that in case an emergency comes let's say someone loses their job or someone gets really sick and they can't work you know life happens so now this emergency fund would really prove this emergency fund would really protect your finances from going into debt again so he advises three to six months of your expenses saved in a place where you can reach them in case of an emergency. Now this one is really helpful and I really pray and I wish we had reached this point when COVID hit because you know COVID came with its own things. So guys who had been doing the Dave Ramsey baby steps for a long time, when covid hit last year they were smiling all the way to the bank because one they did not have any loans so no one was coming knocking at their doors and two if they had only finished with baby step number three even if they hadn't reached baby step number seven if they had saved up their emergency fund and had a fully funded emergency fund they were not worried because they had enough money saved to take them even up to six months and then they were not worried they were eating even if someone lost their job their rent was paid and that gave them enough time to figure out what to do so i think covid really vindicated dave ramsey's baby steps because most people who had done it were just going back to dave ramsey and saying thank you very much so 
our hope and our dream is to get to this next year by god's grace and all things are possible so babies basically that is baby step number three have a fully funded emergency fund for three to six months depending on on your finances and depending on how you feel your job is secure and all that if you're finding this content helpful don't forget to give us a thumbs up because it really helps our channel to grow and if you know anyone who might find this helpful kindly share with them this video now baby step number four is to save 15 percent of your gross household income into a retirement fund it is really important to save 15 percent of your household gross income towards retirement find a retirement fund that you can that you can trust and then put 15% of your gross income there. So that means even if you're employed, you can you just have to calculate how much gross income is coming into your home, whether you're self-employed or whether you're employed, and then you save that. Now, like where I work, our employer contributes a certain amount towards a retirement scheme. And then us as the employees, we are also required to contribute a certain amount. So Dave Ramsey says, do not count your employer's contribution as part of your 15% that one is just an added benefit you take your 15 percent gross income and invest into retirement baby step number five is saving for your children's college education here in kenya we have various options and ways on how to pay for our children's university education and you can you can they can be a job student that is a joint admissions board which means they will get a loan from help but in the west especially in america student loans are normally the biggest loans that children and students have by the time they're finishing university so thankfully here we have the option of you can still pay cash for your child's education or you can take a loan but we're really trying to set our children up for success by not getting them into loans early on in life just have a projection of how much money you will need to pay for each child for their education and then start saving towards that so that is really helpful because you help you will help your children to get a better future by getting a better education and you will help them to get that education without going into debt which is really really important it is up to you to decide the amount that you want to save for your children's education. For us, we have four kids. If you've been watching this long enough, we have four kids and we have chosen to homeschool them for now. If you'd like to know more about homeschooling, I'm going to link a video down below where I explain about why we decided to homeschool and how we are doing it. But what we are doing is because right now homeschooling is not that expensive we are able to save more towards our children's final education when we... baby step number six is paying off your mortgage early i was reading a research online that was saying only two percent of our population in kenya can actually afford a mortgage so not many of us have a mortgage but if it was me and what we plan to do is when we get to baby step number six because we don't have a mortgage and because so far renting is working for us, sometimes mortgages are so expensive because of the interest rates here in Kenya, as in like they're in the double digits, while in the West they're in the single digits. So yeah, there's a huge difference. So basically for us, the plan is when we get to baby step number six, we will look to building our own house because we feel it's cheaper, then you can get your own design and you can decide where you want to live. So. But baby step number six is if you have a mortgage to pay it off early. Baby step number seven is the most fun and it is basically build wealth and give. So at this point in time, you don't have any debt. You have paid off your mortgage. You have a fully funded emergency fund. You're paying for your pension. You're saving for your children's education. So all that's left to do is to build wealth and give and one thing Dave Ramsey likes to say is live today like no one else so that one day you can live like no one else so how that has applied to us is we have had to make some drastic changes in 
our lives today like basically what i said make your own stuff make your own yogurt your own detergent and all that we do our grocery shopping in marikiti we don't buy at the estate because in marikiti it is way way cheaper we buy our meat from the slaughterhouse in dagureti it is messy it is it is it it's a whole other video but we don't mind doing it and making those sacrifices now because we want to live today like no one else so that one day we can live and give like no one else surround yourself with people who are like-minded people who will encourage you to invest to grow to build wealth and an inheritance for your children because really helps this really helps you to achieve your financial growth you will be the sum total of the five people that you spend the most time with and the books that you read so it is really important and speaking of books i said i will tell you how to get a free audio version of the Ramsey's Total Money Makeover. I have a sample right here of one that I was able to download online for free. So this is my Dave Ramsey Total Money Makeover audiobook. And I try to listen to Dave Ramsey like on an almost daily basis. When I finished reading the book, it really explained so much about the baby steps and how to go about them and it has been so instrumental towards helping us achieve our financial dream i'm going to put a link in the description on how you can get this audio version for free this one i have I actually got it for free and it's really it's been really helpful to us thanks for watching and bye